a good morning. It is about 7.30. I'm on Turkey Creek in Melbourne, Florida. I'm out of breath. And I am on a mission for Keeper Sheep's Head today. Don't know whether I'll get them. And I'm going to be honest, I've been here the past three days. I haven't got anything. Conditions are a little better today. The winds are relatively calm right now. We'll go out into well, close to the lagoon. In fact, we can make it to the bay. Uh, but anyway. <clears throat> I'm new to saltwater fishing, inshore fishing. Never done it before in my life. Definitely not very good at it. But we're gonna hit a bunch of these docks. We're gonna see what we got going on. Stay tuned. Find a better way to organize my boat. Come on. I know you're there, I know you're hungry. We do have moving water. Deep is it here? It's pretty darn deep. The thing about sheep's head is, if you miss that bite, you're going to need to put a new bait on. Well, this big old something's rolling everywhere. Nope. That's a keeper too, it looks like. That's good, bro. That's good, bro. Ow. Great. I looked up the regulations. There's one. That's a better one. That might be a keeper. <sighs> I tell you what, dude.
is even freaking possible. Oh, that's right. Can't get rid of that. <clears throat> Stay for a minute. Keeper. Sheep's head, you can barely, you barely feel the bite. Oh. Yep. And that's the problem with live bait fishing. You get one bite. If you don't catch it, you put another one on. Here, I'll go under the bridge. I was doing okay under the bridge, but there's another bite. They're all small, it seems like. That's a small one, too. But it's a sheep's head. Target species. Okay, stop. 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 They're slimy. You get the hook out of your mouth without you biting me. Dude. Nice fish. Not the right size though. That's what they say. Just reel up and you'll get them. Sure I will. Just reel up, Tom, and you'll catch them. Just reel up. That's all you gotta do, really. Don't set the hook. Just reel up. It's amazing. It's like a new magic trick. Just tighten the line. That's all you gotta do. Catch a keeper, man. So, here's the thing. I don't know how to saltwater fish, inshore fish, um, and I'm doing horrible at it. But I hope that by my mistakes, you guys can learn to be better inshore fishermen, better fishermen in general. Look at what I'm doing and don't do that most of the time. All right, so we come to the portion of the video where I like to go over what I learned um, through this fishing trip. 
<clears throat> here you'll just see me sitting under a dock as it poured down rain and the rain gets worse and worse. Uh, thankfully, it stopped and I was able to keep going. However, uh, one thing I learned most importantly, and if you'll go back, and I'll put some of the clips up right here, I'm not giving the fish any time to bite. As soon as I get that, that crab in the water, it sinks down a little bit, and I'm picking up and moving it, and I can't figure out why. I don't know if it's because of the, the video that I was making, and I want to make sure that I'm always catching fish. I don't know because the wind was pushing me, and I, I felt the need to always have it at the pier or the, the piling in front of me. I don't know why I'm doing that. That's something I'm going to be uh, certainly more uh, conscious of as I go out and go fishing. Um, there's probably a keeper on each and every one of those pilings, and I'm just not giving them a chance to to take the bait, so to speak. Another thing I've learned is, and you'll see it here, I've had, had a lot of trouble with where to put that bucket, where to put that bait bucket, so that I could pedal and, and keep the position that I'm in, and I'll get to that in just a second, positioning and all that. But um, I, I need some sort of storage solution. I actually mentioned it in one of the outros that I filmed. I'm not going to put that in, but I've, I've got a lot of stuff right in front of me that really takes... Uh, takes up the room in the front of the boat where I pedal, um, where I keep a lot of my stuff, my pliers, my fish grips, that sort of thing. And the problem with that is, especially with uh, sheep's head fishing, is as you see, you go through a lot of bait. So there's always going to be the need to have that bucket right there. Otherwise, I'm going to, I might as well put a swivel seat on the, on the kayak because I'm going to be constantly spinning around trying to get a hold of that um, that bait bucket so I can put another crab on or another shrimp on or whatever the case may be because they are expert bait stealers and I, I think you'll see that by all the times that I missed fish. Another thing that I've learned is I need either some sort of anchor system, I need some way to hold myself in one position in the wind and in the tide so that I can then take the time and fish that piling or that dock or whatever it is more effectively. Um, I need something so I don't feel rushed, so I don't feel like I have to keep constantly moving my bait forward or moving my bait back or fishing behind me or fishing, you know, in an uncomfortable way. I need some sort of anchor trolley or I need some sort of uh, clip or something that I can clip to the pilings or the docks that I'm on and be able to fish them more effectively that way. But come along with me. We're going to learn how to fish. We're going to learn how to inshore fish. Um, and I hope you learn from my mistakes. Hopefully I'll learn from my own mistakes. I'm really bad about that. But thank you very much, guys. God bless. Look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're going to paddle around a little bit, pedal around a little bit. If I see anything interesting, I'll turn the camera back on and try to get a picture for you. All right? Thank you very much. God bless.